right, guys, welcome back. So I'm going to be showing you guys my Salam Great deck that I've been grinding on Dueling Book with. <laughs> I managed to get to 1k quite efficiently and quite quick. And that's like the biggest difference. Because of course, anyone can do it. Anyone can get like to uh, above 1k rating. But it's just a, a matter of how fast you can do it and how efficiently. For example, let's say you, you win 10 straight matches in a row. You get to the, to, to the higher rating faster than someone that would be going like, you win 5, lose 3, win 7, lose 4. Like, you know, it, 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 you... It, it'll take much more longer. So of course you can make the argument that eventually you can get to 1k rating But it's just a matter of how efficiently and how fast you can do it. And then that I guess that'll That'll uh, determine the perspective you have upon dueling book because you get some quite good duelists on there and, and and of course you have those like Obnoxious ones that are just like oh my god. This is why I don't like the site, but you get some really good um, caliber duelists on there that's that sh can showcase some um, uh, innovative like Plays clever, clever play style, which is which is what I really like. But anyways, let's, let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get to it. So it's gonna get uh, solid, triple buffalo, triple foxy. So these are my primary summons. Initially, I was playing debug, but I ended up cutting it because it put me in an awkward scenario when I opened up this as well. So let me show you what I mean. So if you open a buffalo and any of this, you're in a good spot because it's filter and it's a, a card that's well, it has value in the graveyard, right? You want this in the grave, you want this in the grave, you want this in the grave, because you can discard and pitch anything, I mean, pitch any solid card to something, right? And if you open up debug and uh, any of this, it makes it really weird, because like them, that's an under card you can't really utilize until the following turn, it has a follow up, right? So you're like, okay, well, I can just do I summon this or summon this, you know, like, because you would much rather want this going second, then this going second because they stop this is like, okay why can't we do much whereas if it if they interact with this in any way they're going to trigger off because like this if, if they if, if it leaves the field you can discard still have this in the grave have this in the grave have this in the grave or like this as well unless they bounce it like with a unicorn or something monster hand it's kind of like yeah but that means they're they they leave themselves open to to signing mining and then pushing from there whereas this is like it searches you gazelle but like it makes it forces you to waste your reeling on bailing, which is what you don't want to do, because <laughs> then you're forced to send Jaguar, and you just don't really want to be doing that unless you really need to, unless you already have access to the traps. And then you have um, Falco, and you have uh, Gazelle. Um, yeah, I meant Gazelle. <laughs> um, Gazelle. Everyone knows what Gazelle does. So like the way that they're constructed is to not fully rely on Gazelle, and the fact that you have access to the traps much more frequently, Gazelle becomes less important, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, the cards are basically tie your opponent. You can't do whatever you want. <laughs> so okay, so you have the beer, triple the beer, just deal with um, build the boards, you know, just to ease the the matchup a little bit. Um, then of course you have your Ash Blossom. It's just part of the deck. It's just the fact that you can recur your traps and Ash Blossom the following turn after you've used them is hard for your opponents to keep up. Like that's it's just oh, it doesn't say. And then of course you have a uh, triple drone lockbird from a deer mount on alistair fossil dig uh, dragon link it prevents your opponent from molding their hand to try to play past your your double trap whereas if you drop this they're forced to play with the cards they're given and it makes it a little bit easier for you because the more they mold their hand the more tricky it becomes for you to anticipate and that's what this um um solves which is which is insane and you can normal summon it make an omirage which is um quite important in this deck <laughs> And then of course you have your your circle and your sanctuary. I've drawn these two so oh my god, <laughs> I don't know man. They're just rages just don't work well with me. Um, triple part of desires. You do not feel any guilt resolving this because you don't play one one of each of the traps. Like typically that's how you would feel. Like oh man, but this you don't really care. Like you just have desires. Draw two. Okay, I, I'm fine. I drew my traps. I banished two of my traps. It's fine. I, I'm maxing them out anyways. And then of course you have your silent mining, just an extender. This is basically an extender, which is really good, especially paired up the way the deck is built. You're always gonna have a solid to, to pitch off of it, because typically there's the standard list. You minimize on a solid count, so you're gonna be pitching like a like a generic interaction, and you don't really get that much value off it, um, given that you tried to save the gazelle um, for the as a contingency plan. You have the actual solid. This is gonna be the biggest difference of the deck itself, right? The ratios, because I'm maxing these out. So at face value, right, right off the bat, you're thinking to yourself, I do not want to see these going second um, against Dragon Link. Or, you know, like, you do not want to see that. Like, that's the biggest um, issue, right? But 
it's a 50 50 chance that you'll win a dice roll or not right so you have to take take that into account don't just think that you're gonna lose the die roll of course that is a possibility but there's a chance that you might win that die roll so that means the the way solid wins is if you have access to both of the traps and an ash or a nibiru or a draw like that's how you win and it buy you it buys you another turn after you've established and had have these engraved and you've you've, you've used these because you you stop your opponent and that's how you survive having that set up for at least um for the follow-up is insane like it's it's, it's insane so it's kind of hard to lose like a bit, like after you've used your ash after you use your 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 your, your roar and your rage and then the following turn you add this back add this back add this back like your opponent has only so many uh has has limited resources to push past that again like you know why wouldn't you want to have that establishment as as, as, as often and as quickly as possible right because like all these are archetype based cards they work within the deck right like you can pitch any of these for foxy so like you're always going to be have, able to have a pitch for foxy if foxy is engraved like it's really good you can reset itself right it, 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 oh, it's just, oh, it's just so good. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't understand. Like, it's just really good. But of course, you have to take into account, of course, there is that chance, like I mentioned earlier, the the you can open this like a Dragon Link and just sort of lose, like, you know, because like, you know, but that's just, you have to give and take. You have to understand that if you're taking this route, you take the good with the bad, you know, like, you op if you go first and you game one, game one, thanks to this. If you go second in game one and you open this, then I guess it's this. But that's just that's just the that's the double-edged sword, I guess. But like, it just works really, really, really well. And then of course you play triple imperm. This is just to to allow your Nibir to resolve and just stops the windows. Just it's a good top deck. It, so like an argument that can be made is like okay, you can cut one of this, um, cut one of this, uh, and then cut one of this, and 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 like like cut these. And then, um, but then that'd be the standard salad, and which which is what I'm trying to avoid, right? Because then that means you're not really gonna see this, so you're never gonna see this 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 setup as frequent as you would as uh, if, as if you max these out, right? You're not gonna see it. So like example would be if let's say let's say you yeah you open up this is just an example, okay? Let's say you open up uh, these two, right? It's an it's an interaction, yeah. But the deck itself has an interaction that can be recurrable, right? Compared to this. If you open up this, you can get this back. You cannot get this back. You cannot get a Nibiru back. You know, like you can't get a draw back. You can get this back, right? And that's the biggest argument. Of course, it's dependent on you going first. But there are times where you can interact, you can interact with like a simple Nibiru or a simple draw and then your 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 pushback would be very minimal, but the fact that you have this as an option to recur itself, like pitches of mining, pitches of foxy, and then have it to be uh, being able to recur itself is the biggest difference in 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 what it, from a standard um list. Like you would have to test out the deck yourself to understand what I what I mean exactly. But um yeah that's that's one of the biggest differences, because like. It's really good. Like you want to have this in circulation as fast as possible, because um that's how you overwhelm your opponent. They, it's hard, it makes it hard for them to keep up. Okay, and then you have your extra deck. Right? You have the standard, triple Bailinx, triple Wolf. This is debatable now. You can you know, but I, I still like Helio for what it does. Then you have access code, trans code, update jammers, blast mage, link spider. This is not standard. Um, Link Rebo, uh, Sonic Great Romorans. So the reason you play this is because of this. So let's say you get a beard, right? Because this happens quite a lot. Okay, so let's say you get a beard, right? And and you kind of have to anticipate for this, uh, assuming you you have the the resources to do it, which is quite often. So let's say you go like this. You get a, you get a beard. You link with a token, right? You link with the token and you make a, uh, a link spider because it's the cybers and then you pitch for foxy right because odds are you're gonna have uh, a bunch of solid cards to pitch for foxy right and the really good ones um for that matter right and you have these as well right and you can reset this and it was just, it's insane so then you uh, pitch for foxy and then you make splash mage right and odds are you've already made a wolf because that's why they tried to to nibiru you because they wanted to make sure to turn off the roar and the rage and you use uh, Splash Mage to bring this back. 
you make uh, your transcode. Transcode will revive the wolf, right? And since you 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 want to make the wolf the first wolf with it uh, itself and another fire, so you can leave the relink for this play, right? And then you relink the wolf and make your third wolf, right? So you, now you have two wolves in grave, and then you just set your traps and pass. Like that, that's the whole sole purpose of Link Spider to to, to have that play as, as an option, which is uh, quite important. But you just gotta, you just gotta try, man. <laughs> I'll put the link in the description so you can um, download the deck and then import it and just test it. But actually test it. Don't just play one match and just like okay, because like you don't you can't really determine anything from just one match. You have to like, actually test it and, and I guess gain the perspective. But that's basically gonna be it, man. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like subscribe if you haven't and thanks for watching.